I entered a talent contest in Hawaii and uh, ended up winning the contest and I was entitled to do a single. The single was soon picked up by a uh, record label. Or, you know, are you, are you keen to get involved with your fans and meet them and stuff like that? No, I like to very much. I like to, I like to meet the fans and see, um, you know, how, how they like the music and, and just talk to them and see, you know. Have you had your heart broken? Oh, yes, I have, and I'm sure everyone has. You know, love is something everyone needs. And I sing it a lot because everyone can relate to love. You know, um, everyone needs love. It is possible and uh, something that I didn't think was possible for me growing up on Kauai. But it is possible. And, uh, but it is if you like, if you do it for the love of music and not for the fame. I Take it like a man, she's not for you. Wave goodbye. At the Polynesian Palace. So honestly, if it wasn't for Frank, I, I don't know where I would be today. Well, there's an interesting story behind Frank and I performing together. I was 24 years old and I was just about to leave to Los Angeles. Things were slowing down for me as a singer and I needed to look for a new record deal. One of the best things that ever happened to me because of the fact that Frank does so much for our community and it, he taught me the importance of giving back. Those days are gone. <laughs> no, uh, I'm happily married. I was married uh, eight years ago. Uh, Sorry, girls. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> They're probably thinking, oh, he's an old man already. No. That's okay. <laughs> I actually uh, entered uh, Brown Bags to Stardom in 1986 for the first time. I had seen it on television and uh, watched Naleo on television and I definitely wanted to be like them. Oh. Here I see your face. Soon I'll be at heaven's gate. I know you'll be right there. That, the three years that I performed with him helped put me through college. And, um, and getting to know Frank the way I did personally was one of the... One of the uh, I've been in education now for about 15 years and I, I'm really enjoying myself. I uh, work at a great school with an uh, incredible principal, uh, Shana Tong, and, and wonderful teachers there. <laughs> are celebrating 170 years wow. this year. We're the third oldest school in Hawaii that's still running. Um, we are celebrating because also we have our kindergarten through fifth grade open. I wanted to be a teacher since I was a very young kid, but after the singing started slowing down a little, I, I said, you know, I'm going to go back to my original plan to become a teacher. So I've been an educator for about 20 years. <laughs> 